Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Matthews here from MND Forex Traders. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I thought of uh, coming to you guys with this great video for you guys. It's a trading psychology video, something that's going to actually um, help you, especially for the traders, the new traders who are just coming in who've just said trading, they just heard about forex trading and uh, and all that, right? So the, today's video is, uh, as you've seen from the title, it's the truth about forex trading that no one talks about, that no mentors talk about, all right? So let's get started. So just imagine, just the time that you said you heard about trading, just imagine someone if someone had told you in advance that it was all about psychology don't you think that uh, there's going there's going to be a difference don't you think you'd have approached it in a different manner think about it think about the first time you heard about forex trading right most of us i can speak for myself is uh i saw profits i saw people making money right i saw people making money quick that's the first thing i saw about trading therefore even the things that followed after that it was all about trying to make money now right therefore what happened that led led to me losing a lot of money because i was trying to chase money it, led to me losing a lot of money while trying to chase the money right so i would follow anything that shined i would follow this strategy that strategy that indicator that particular group and all that i did all that but if someone had told me that it's all about psychology I think there's going to be a different i'm sure i'm not the only one who went through this particular thing right so if you did please make sure that you hit that bell i mean uh comment in the comment section subscribe hit that bell notification so that you get to be notified every time we drop a new video all right so trading is about accepting losses it's about managing your emotions accepting the probability nature of the market are not being greedy right so how many times have you experienced losing trades a lot right but you find some people out there claiming that they have a 90 percent 100 percent win rate they have a 90 percent win rate they actually don't even post losses they will only show you positives right they'll only show you blues only setups that are actually working and that's very very common and all that is a, is the shiny stuff all that is something that that is meant to actually capture you it's actually a marketing skill a marketing strategy engineered to actually attract you okay they do that so that they can attract you to either buy their courses or uh by their signals and, and all that right they don't most people don't tell you the truth that you you you, you actually lose in this market and losing is part of this scam i think it'll, it'll make a very very big difference if you someone knew from the very very beginning that they actually had a risk they were actually risking losing their whole account all right so that would be very very important imagine someone if someone told you that you have to um, manage your emotions probably you didn't even know that you had uh, these particular emotions that you are actually experiencing after you entered into a particular trade or after taking a loss because we are emotional beings so those uh, emotions are triggered okay and the brain will look at that as a threat and uh, it will release hormones right neurochemicals that will actually come 
into your into your body and that the all those emotions are going to come up and you act the way you act you either try to revenge trade so that you can mix all that money back or you just walk away but most people actually will try and uh, get back to the market for taking their money and that just worsens the situation because what you end up happening is that you end up losing all your money so if someone told you in advance that you actually have to manage your emotions when losses come you have to manage your emotions know when to actually say all right this setup is not working i have to move on don't be greedy just imagine if a trade is going in your favor and you keep moving the tech profit with hope that it's going to act and continue to go in your direction that happens right or taking too much of a position in relation to your account to your account size trying to flip a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars in one trade because that's what we see online that's what we see on instagram right well that's what we see on instagram we see that that's what we are fed so as a new trader if you see that what happens is that in your mind all you want to see is to make those blue you want to make all that money but in real 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 time and in, in real situations they won't show you when they lose <laughs> that's the funny part about it they won't show you when they lose those particular trades only few will show you but most people will actually hide their losses because that will be bad for business right so and then just imagine if you were told that the market was all about probability and there was no way there was no one way uh, that you actually trade the market and uh, there's no way that you were, were able to predict on a trade by trade basis which trade was going to win imagine if someone told you that in the beginning that whatever trade you're, uh, you're taking no matter what system you're using the chances of that particular trade winning or the the, the outcome of that particular trade is out of your control you have no idea no matter how much knowledge you might have about the market no matter how much system what system you might be using no matter what indicator you might be using there is no way to predict on a trade by trade basis which trade was going to win if someone told you that then it was going to be very easy for you to manage your expectations because oftentimes what causes to these emotions what causes these emotions is actually the expectation of that particular trade to win we expect that trade to win therefore we over risk on that particular trade with hope that it's going to go in our direction and therefore when the trade goes the other way we become emotional we are expo we are predisposed uh, we pre are predisposed to having into i mean to taking emotional trades over risking revenge trading not accepting a, a small loss all that is psychology it's all about psychology i'm telling you if you can handle you can if, if you can manage your emotions you you'd have won halfway the battle more than half actually because about 60 percent of, of trading in psychology is all about managing your emotions managing um your expectations accepting probability nature of the market not being greedy accepting your losses not having an ego in the market because no matter what system you, are, you have or you are trading with you are going to have losses and it's okay it's okay guys it's okay to have losses for as long as you are following your proven system that you back tested and forward tested losses are okay you have to accept that there is a random distribution between wins and losses period there is a random distribution between losses and wins so we have to transition to that if you are new to forex trading and you are watching this this is very very important 
or you, if, you're, if you've been struggling, you don't have a system that you're following, this is very, very extremely important. So you, you have to understand these things. Accept those losses. Those losses, as long as you're taking, you're having, you're using a system that you've, that has shown in the past that it has actually able to make profits, those losses are just part of the game. You now have to manage those emotions. When those emotions come about you trying to revenge trade, be aware of your emotions. Get out of your brain and look at it in a different way. Because if you don't, that trade is going to actually ruin your account your account it's probability you will never know which trade is going to win therefore that's the reason why we should be consistent in identifying your setups in respecting your risk management on every trade because it's all probability a trade can go in your direction that doesn't mean that you you were able to predict that level that, that trade that, that you knew that that trade was going to win. No, if you knew that the trade was going to actually go in your direction, you'd have risked your whole account. But you don't you didn't do that. Why? Because you knew that it can actually lose. That's very very important. So that's the first part. Let's go to the second. Imagine if someone told you that it would take time. Imagine if someone just you just that particular time when you you heard about forex trading. Just if someone just came to you and tell you, man, it's going to take time. It's not this get rich quick scheme that is being advertised on Facebook, on Instagram, on Telegram. It's not like that. It's going to take you time. You have to find a system with an edge that has been proven to have an edge you have to understand and manage your emotions and you need to be disciplined enough to follow your system that's the first one here finding an edge is difficult it's it, it takes a lot of time for you to actually run into a system that actually works so it will take a lot of research a lot of i mean a lot of uh, lost money you're trying to buy a system, buying indicators, buying robots, all those things. I'm sure you guys have experienced those things, right? Just to have a system that, that works, it will take you a lot of time. It will take you a lot of time and a lot of sacrifice. You lose a lot of money either by buying or trying it out. So, guys, it will take time. It will take time. If you are new to forex trading, it's going to take time. It's not like some the way it's advertised on Facebook where you see people making quick profits. Yes, you can make money quickly. Right? It's very, very possible to actually make money quickly. However, it's also very, very easy to lose money. Especially if you are careless with your risk management. Provided you have a system that you can objectively identify every time then the money just becomes part of the process just becomes the outcome it just becomes the side effect of the whole process right it just becomes the side effect you are doing the right thing and then you get rewarded okay so finding an age finding a system with an age will take time Managing your emotion, understanding your psychology, which is the most crucial part about trading, will take time. It won't take you one month. It won't, it won't take you two months. But the problem is that when we get started, we are so we so want to make money. We want to make money so that we can pay for that particular thing. We might you might you want to make you want to make money right now. You want to make money on that particular trade. That's the reason why most people fail because they don't understand that it's probability. Therefore, they just want to, to take a particular trade so that they can risk their whole account and make a lot of money. That doesn't help. You end up blowing, blowing, blowing your accounts. You keep blowing until you understand this is how it is. 
That's the reason why there is a higher, higher, higher failure rate in forex trading. Over 90% of traders fail. And over 40% actually stop in two months. And in four months, I was surprised to see that those, those statistics. Only, I mean, 40% of new traders stop trading after four months of trading. And 90% of traders lose money consistently because they they are all want to make money right now they don't understand that it takes time it takes time to find the system it takes time to actually understand your emotions and it takes time to master your discipline to follow your rules consistently following your risk management no matter what happens that takes time but no one talks about that no one talks about that. People are always just talking about winning and they don't talk about losses, right? No one talks about a few, a very few, few traders, even here on YouTube, talk about losses. Everyone is trying to talk about, you know, we have a winning, we have a 90% winning strategy that will actually guarantee you making money. But that's not true. That's not true. So if you are new, again, please know that it's going to take time. For you to find a system with an edge unless you land yourself uh with a mentor or a group or a company that actually already have an age and therefore that's where a mentor comes into play a mentor a proper mentor will shorten your learning curve a proper mentor will shorten your learning curve instead of you spending two years blowing up accounts find a mentor that you trust that you can resonate with and then just pay the price and learn the skill. They will teach you because they have gone through what you're about to go through. Therefore, they know better than you. If you are struggling right now, find a mentor. It's simple, guys. If you try to go at it on your own, you spend a lot of money blowing your accounts. And it will, you will spend a lot of time. You realize after three years, you'd have wasted all that. So it's important. This is going to take time. Okay? And finding an age, finding a system with an age doesn't mean that you have to have a strategy that wins 90% of the time. All that is just marketing skills, marketing strategies. Profitable traders have a, have a, a, a win rate of about probably 45 to maybe 60%. 70% maybe because it's not about actually winning every trade it's about how much you win when the trade goes in your direction and how much you do when the trade goes against you and actually being consistent with that it's not about winning 100% of, 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 of all your trades because we have no idea what's going to happen on that particular trade because anything can happen it's all probability so ladies and gentlemen, it's going to take time. It leads us to the last uh, slide right here. Risk management, uh, reward, uh, risk reward ratio is more important than win rate. So if you, if you, if you look at uh, the screen right now, these are actually the trades that we took last week. These are the real trades that we took last week. These were about 10 trades. And if you, if you see from here, we actually lost more trades than we won. So if you look here, we, we lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We lost seven trades, right? We lost seven trades and we won only three. But something significant is happening here. Look at the losses. The losses are smaller than the wins. Of course, this is in, in terms of pips. The losses are less than in, in, in number of pips they are less than what we're making when we won so for example this was when, when meaning this right here it gave us 12 times what we risk this particular trade here gave us four times whatever amount we risked this particular trade here gave us five times whatever the amount of money we were risking on the particular trade. And when we lose, we just lose 
that amount, for example, if I'm risking $10 or $100 on a particular trade, if I lose, I lose $100. However, if I win this particular trade, I'm winning $1,200. You see? So you can find yourself losing a lot more trades, but actually being profitable at the end of the day. So this is how it is. It's not about how many wins you're going to have or how, how much your win rate is. Don't get deceived by people who tell you they have an 80% win rate, 90%, 100% win rate. That's not even re uh, realistic. Right? So it's not about how many hits you're going to have in a row. It's about the risk reward ratio. How many do you how much do you make when the trade goes in your favor? Do you make one to three, one to four, one to five? one to one so risk to reward ratio is very very important so when you have a risk to reward ratio of at least one to four or one to three and above personally we don't trick any trades that give us less than one to one to five these trades you are seeing are having one to four one to five these are trades which are still running right now as i'm talking that these trades are still running we are holding it on to this particular trade this is the euro card trade right here. This was the complete trade. It hit our TP. That's the reason why you actually see it's 1 to 12 risk reward ratio. 12 R. That's how it is. We don't take any trade that gives us anything less than, less than 1 to 5. Because of how the system is. Because of how our strategy is. So it gives us chance to fail. Even if this is just self-explanatory guys. Look at this. Look at how these trades work. 10 trades, we won 3, and these 3 still gave us 15R and about 550, 557 pips in profit. But we lost a little bit, we lost more than we won. So, what's the key? The key is being able to accept losses, manage your emotions when you're actually taking those losses. Because if you become emotional, you will lose you will lose if you become emotional while trading losses are going to actually come your job is to manage your emotions and be consistent as long as you have a system that is in place that you you follow always and that system has proven to be profitable over a series of trades there's no need for you to get worried when you have one two three Four losses in a row because you know that it will only take one trade to actually get you back in profit and even more so there's no need to get worried or to start uh, revenge trading or to start uh, over risking there's no need for you to do that it, you just mess up your whole account because that particular next trade can still be a loser again so there's no need for you to over risk no need at all so what you have to do is to learn how to lose and understand that it's all probability. It's all probability. If you've not watched uh, Mark Douglas' videos about trading psychology, please go and watch those videos. They will change the way you look at trading. They will completely shift the way you look at trading. All right? So... This is very, very important, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, 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 very important. All right? So I hope you're finding value in this content. I hope you're actually enjoying our content. Please, if you do, make sure that you subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section. Tell us what you what, what did you find valuable in this video, in this particular video. There are a lot more videos like these ones in our channel. So please stick around, subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment, comment section, and hit that bell notification so that you get to be notified every time we drop such valuable content. You guys, until next time, I wish you all the very best in your trading career. Goodbye.